Hello everyone, this video is in continuation to our videos for grade 10th ICSC. Last video we had covered uh, cell division. In this video we will be talking about structure of chromosomes and structure of DNA. Okay, I will write structure of DNA also. So we will be talking about both here in this video. In our upcoming next video we will be talking about static genetics and we will be talking about all the definitions which are there in genetics. Further followed by monohybrid, dihybrid and sex determination crosses. So let's start structure of chromosomes and the structure of DNA before we start with structure of chromosome let's understand what is it so when we see first of all where is it present it is a genetic material uh, present in the cells so where it, it is basically present it's present inside the nucleus now whenever the cell is in a non dividing state how do we see it suppose this is the cell so, and uh, it has a nucleus here. So how is this, uh, these chromosomes present here in a non-dividing state? They are just thin, fine thread-like structure, which we call as chromatin fibers. This we've done it in the previous videos also, where we have discussed um, how it moves from interface to prophase, but it's just a, a repetition. So inside the nucleus, chromatin fibers are present and this is a stage which is non-dividing a non-dividing stage wherein the cell is not dividing as and when the cell enters in a state where it has to divide this chromatin chromatin fibers they condense to form chromosomes they condense to form chromosomes what is condensation as in they thicken to form a thick structure that is chromosomes and this chromatin material arranges if we talk about humans it arranges and forms 23 pairs of chromosomes ye pura chromatin material divide okay for 23 pair of chromosomes may it gets formed let's see what is the structure of a chromosome how does it appear if we see the structure of a chromosome it is a structure which has two chromatids and these chromatids are joined by a centrally placed centromere. So it has a centromere in the center which joins two chromatids. So two chromatids are joined by a centromere. Now let us understand that how this whole structure is formed, how this condensation happens. For this, we must understand that, uh, let's write here, structure of chromosomes. So for this, we must understand that when the structure of chromosomes is formed, it is made up of 40% DNA and 60% histone proteins. 40% DNA and 60% histone proteins. What are histone proteins? Histone proteins are there inside the blood and are formed by a liver. They are already present inside the blood. It's there inside the blood for the formation of these chromosomes. Let's understand how this formation takes place. These histone proteins are just like globular proteins which are there inside the blood. Histone proteins, they come together, combine to form a ball of 8 histone proteins. 8 histone proteins are formed. They, these is the, millions of histone, millions, trillions of histone proteins are there inside the blood. On may say 8 heart ka set banke, 8 8 ka set banke, they form a ball like structure. And over this ball like structure, the DNA starts coiling to form a ball like structure which we call as nucleosome so what is nucleosome if someone asks you or it, if it comes in mcqs nucleosomes is eight not five not six eight histone proteins plus dna coiled around it to form a ball like structure we call it nucleosome now once the nucleosomes these balls are formed inside the blood each nucleosome arranges in the form of a string like this. This string we call it as chromatin fiber. When this, this is one nucleosome. 
So they form a beaded thread like structure. We call it chromatin fiber. When condensation has to take place to form this structure, this string of nucleo uh, of uh, nucleosomes it coils and super coils over each other as in it keeps coiling and super coiling over each other to form this x shaped structure which we call as chromosome which we call as chromo so, so, in order to adjust this whole chromatin fiber, there is coiling and super coiling of this chromatin fiber to form a X-shaped structure which has two, nucle uh, two chromatids which are joined at the center via a structure known as centromere. So, this is how the structure of chro uh, chromosome is formed. It has 40% DNA, 60% histone proteins. So, this histone proteins forms nucleosomes first which pile on each other or attach each other, attach to each other with the, to form a string and this string coils and super coils among, e among uh, itself to form this condensed structure of chromosomes. Now, we know how these histone proteins are there and how are they formed. Let's understand how the structure of DNA is formed. How do we, you know, um, see the structure and what are the various components of DNA? This is also very important for your paper point of view because they give this uh, structure of chromosome and it's uh, what are, is, is required and how it is formed in the paper as well. So, let's make some space for this first. Herein, we are going to now talk about the structure of DNA. Now, when we see the structure of a DNA, before we start the structure of DNA, let's understand what are the components of a DNA. I'll first of all give you a skeletal st structure of a DNA. It is a double helical structure wherein a double helix is formed and it has a set of nucleotides present here this is the skeleton of a dna this is how the structure is a double helix structure which is made up of two strands now let's understand how these strands are formed for that we must understand what are the components which are present or which form the dna so dna is made up of nucleotides now let's understand what is a nucleotide nucleotide is a structure which is made up of three components one pentose sugar one phosphate group and one nitrogenous base now pentose sugar can be uh, ribose sugar or deoxyribose sugar. Phosphate group is simple P uh, phosphate group. Nitrogenous bases, there are four nitrogenous bases adenine, thiamine, guanine, and cytosine. There are four nitrogenous bases which have a significant pairing that means adenine always combines with thiamine guanine always will pair with cytosine so this pairing is fixed so these that there are nitrogenous bases let's see the skeletal structure of how it is formed there is a pentose sugar then sorry there is a phosphate group there is a pentose sugar and a nitrogenous base present here so this is a phosphate sugar a phosphate group this is a pentose sugar which is in case of dna it is dioxyribose and, uh, sugar and then we have the nitrogenous base here this is one nucleotide there is a string of nucleotides which is formed like this let's make two here for you to understand how it is actually so this nitrogenous base here then the phosphate group again the pentose sugar and the nitrogenous base and there is there are two strands this is one strand there is an another strand which is here which is a complementary strand which is formed here so if you want to in detail understand the structure of dna i have made it for grade uh, 12th learners 
सो यू कैन वॉच द प्ले लिस्ट फॉर ग्रेड ट्वेल्थ उसमें बिल्कुल डिटेल में इट इज एक्सप्लेन दैट हाउ दिस स्ट्रक्चर इज फॉर्म सो दिस इज हाउ न दिस इज वन स्ट्रिंग दिस इज अनदर स्ट्रिंग विच आर कंबाइन टूगेदर सो इफ वी हैव एडिन इन हेयर वील हैव थान हेयर इफ वी हैव गॉन इन हेयर वील हैव साइटोसिन देर इज अ डबल हाइड्रोजन बॉन्ड बिटवीन एडिन इन एंड थायामीन एंड देर इज अ ट्रिपल बॉन्ड बिटवीन गॉन इन एंड साइटोसिन दिस इज हाउ the structure is wherein all these are arranged in a string and they keep coiling and forming these structures and when we see one single coil it has four one two three and four nitrogenous bases per coil four sorry four nucleotides per uh, per coil so what is a nucleotide nucleotide is the smallest unit of a dna what is it composed up of one pentose one phosphate and one nitrogenous base and what is a gene gene is a segment this would code for one gene which codes for one single protein one gene codes for one single protein so what is gene gna gene is a segment on dna it's nothing you know specifically present it's just a segment single segment of a dna we call it gene so we will call this as one gene so this is how it is the structure of chromosome and the structure of dna in our next video we'll talk about genetics we'll do the general introduction will be where we'll be doing the different definitions which are there in genetics so keep watching liking sharing subscribing thank you